Oh, do time for another beer review. This one, we're going to a new beer in Asda. Yes, you heard that correct. Asda. As they're updating their beer range, this is from Seven Brothers, and this is Honeycomb, a Honeycomb Pale Ale. It's coming in at 4% in a 440ml can. Um, yes, so I'm filming this on Monday evening. It was announced today. I've seen a few bits over the weekend that as they're updating their range, they're finally getting some new beers in. They're getting beers from Siren. They're getting a the single hop mosaic beer in from Salt. There is some vocation beers going in. There is um, a harbour beer called Castles in the Sky, I think. And there's a new shelf of Brewdog beers. So Asda seem to be up in their game. So I went down today. Um, I was, our shelves in Carlisle were, they had the, the stickers out, but they didn't have the beers. This is the only one of the new beers that they had in. They um, appear to be all three pounds. But they do some kind of like four for three cheapest one free some kind of deal but they all seem to be the same price so that so if you've got an asda nearby keep your eye out because it looks like there's some new beers going in i'll get them and i'll try and get them up if i get them in a reasonable time um i'm also hoping to get to um aldi in scotland this week with me living on the border and with today the borders reopening so I'm allowed back into Scotland to, you know, to to buy things and just to visit and the like. So um, I'm hoping to get to Aldi this week because on Thursday it's the Aldi Scottish Beer Festival and they have a load of beer in from like Theus and uh, Fine Ales, uh, Williams Brothers, um, Dry Gate, amongst others. There's, there's about 30, 40 beers. And they're all like 130 to 179. So I'm going to try and get a few of them if I can as well. That's the plan. So anyhow, being a glass. Golden amber colour. Um, hazy. Brilliant white head. And I can see the very odd bubble going up to the top. Right, let's get the nose. It does smell sweet. There is a honey vibe about it, but it doesn't have a massive aroma. I've just reviewed a beer um, that I've put on the channel of a honeycomb imperial style from um, Vault City, and that had a big, massive Cadbury's crunchy aroma about it. Yes, that was a stout, this is a pear there, but... It doesn't have a lot on the nose. It's more caramel, if anything. But, um, right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. So, it's all right. It's medium body. Um, it is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. There is this caramel, honey vibe about it. There is a hint. I'm getting a hint of orange as well in it. It's quite light. Very easy drinking. It's a, it, yeah, it's some kind of like, it's like a, it is a pale ale, but it's like a pale ale, golden ale, like, hybrid. It's not the most exciting of beers, but, um, it's just nice to see new beer in Asda, or new beer about to drop in Asda, so, um, it's okay, I'm not blown away with it, um. Could I drink it again? Yes. Would I buy it again? No. Um, it's three pound, but like I say, it's in a deal, so it'll come out probably at about two twenty or something if you're buying a few of them, because there's about seven new beers in the supermarket. Well, going off what my shelves look like, um, so it's all right. I think they'll be better. Is what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they'll be better. So that is honeycomb from Seven Brothers. So. 
can't believe I'm saying this for a long time, but I'll add it to me as the playlist. So um, thanks for watching, and on to the next one. Cheers.